हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू वीडियो ऑफ सुनंदा ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर चैप्टर 14 ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ एन सी बायोलॉजी बुक व्हिच इज इकोसिस्टम इन माय नेक्स्ट लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड पॉपुलेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इको सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल what is ecosystem it is sol self sustained functional unit of nature consisting of biotic and abiotic factors that means living and non living factors where living organisms that means biotic factor interact among themselves and also with their physical environment that means abiotic factor sir a g tansley or arthur g tansley coined the term ecosystem in 1935 it is a very important point then ecosystem can be terrestrial ecosystem many aquatic ecosystems are there under terrestrial ecosystem forest grassland desert ecosystems are present and under aquatic ecosystem fresh water and salt water ecosystems are present then under fresh water ecosystem pond lake stream ecosystems are there under salty water ecosystem wetland estuary and marine ecosystems are present so what are the components of ecosystem there are many biotic component and abiotic component biotic components that means living components are producers which are generally the green plants in any ecosystem second consumer third one is decomposer under consumer primary consumer herbivores secondary consumer primary carnivores then tertiary consumer which are secondary carnivores then under abiotic component or physical component air water solar radiation temperature and soil then ecosystem structure there are two important structural features of an ecosystem one is species composition one is stratification species composition that all the plants animals or microbial species which are present in an ecosystem constitute, constitute the species composition of that ecosystem then what is stratification it is very very important this stratification refers to the vertical distribution of different species occupying different level in an ecosystem suppose here it is here it is the figure of stratification in forest there are some shrubs are present which are present in the ground layer then the sub canopy or small trees then large tree or emergent layer so this is the stratification or vertical distribution of different species in a forest ecosystem it is the uh, stratification of a pond or a lake ecosystem where profoundal zone sub littoral zone littoral zone limnetic zones are present then ecosystem ecosystem consists of this biotic and abiotic components so uh, this is more elaborate one and uh, here it, under the biotic component producer or autotrophs consumer and heterotrophs decomposers and saprotrophs are there then consumers can be divided into primary consumer or herbivore secondary consumer or primary carnivore then tertiary consumer or large carnivore quaternary consumer or omnivorous and for example human being and many birds then uh, under abiotic component climatic and edaphic factor are there under climatic factor rainfall light wind and temperature are there and under edaphic factor soil ph of the soil minerals topography are there then details about the biotic component at first producers they are green plants have chlorophyll and with that chlorophyll they trap the solar energy 
and change it into the chemical energy of carbohydrate using simple inorganic compounds or raw materials for example water and carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis so green plants prepare their food using sunlight and raw materials such as carbon dioxide and water to prepare their own food in the process of photosynthesis as green plant manufacture their own food they are known as autotrophs the chemical energy stored by the producers is utilized partly by the producer for their own growth and survival and the remaining is stored in the plant part for their future use then consumer generally the consumers are the animals which lack chlorophyll and unable to synthesize their own food therefore they depend on the producers for their food they known as the heterotrophs then consumers are four types one is primary consumer those those who eat or feed on the plants or producer known as herbivores for example rabbit deer goat cattle then secondary consumer the animal which feed on the herbivores are called primary carnivore cat fox snake then tertiary consumer these are large carnivore which feed on the secondary consumer for example wolves then quaternary consumer or omnivorous these are largest carnivore which eat or feed on the tertiary consumer are and are not eaten up by any other animals for example lion tiger also human being then decomposers generally the bacteria and fungi belong to this category the breakdown of dead material of producer and consumer for their food and release to the environment the simple organic and inorganic substances produced as by product of their metabolism this simple substance are reused by producer resulting in cyclic exchange of material between biotic community and abiotic environment of the ecosystem the decomposers are known as saprotrophs so <clears throat> basically what they do decomposers break down the complex organic matter to simplest inorganic one and uh, finally uh, add it to the soil as mineral so they decompose or degrade the complex biotic uh, biotic uh, waste what are the waste these are the dead and dead remaining matter of your plant or any plant part human or uh, animal dead bodies so and uh, also excreta <clears throat> so these are the waste then major function of an ecosystem what are the function first one is productivity then decomposition then energy flow and finally the nutrient cycling the major function of ecosystem is productivity what is productivity the rate of production of biomass any biomass is called as the productivity the biomass or organic matter produced per unit area over a time period by the plant in terms of weight or energy primary productivity is defined as the amount of biomass or organic matter produced per unit area over a time period by the green plant during photosynthesis primary productivity can be of two types one is gross primary productivity it is the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis and it can be measured by assimilation number that is amount of carbon dioxide fixed fixed by a gram of chlorophyll in an hour then net primary productivity the amount of energy available in the producer's body after utilization of some energy for respiration so the first biomass produced or organic matter produced or the rate of organic matter produced during the photosynthesis is known as gross primary productivity from this some energy is utilized by the producers itself for their growth metabolism some are utilized or released during the respiration process the remaining is called as the net primary productivity it is the am amount of energy available in the producer for the consumption of the 
herbivorous that means next trophic level then secondary productivity it is defined as the assimilation and formation of new organic matter by consumer it is also of two types one is gross secondary productivity that is uh, food consumed by the herbivores minus ingested material it varies for different consumer and net secondary productivity it is the rate of resynthesized organic matter by the consumer the average net productivity for all consumer is 10% so it is low for herbivores and high for carnivores then decomposition decomposition is another function of ecosystem it is the process where the complex organic matter is broken down into simpler inner organ simpler organic substances and ultimately to the inorganic compounds following steps are included in the decomposition process first one is fragmentation the breaking of detritus into smaller particle then leaching it is the process in which water soluble inorganic substances run down into soil horizon and get precipitated as on available salts then catabolism the enzymatic conversion of detritus into simple organic compound and then into inorganic compound called catabolism the enzyme secreted by <coughs> the decomposers like bacteria and fungi and they help in this process of catabolism then humification humification during decomposition leads to accumulation of dark color amorphous substance called humus humus a present humus layer is the topmost layer of your soil horizon then mineralization it is the process in which humus is degraded by certain microbe and inorganic nutrients are released decomposition is largely an aerobic process and require oxygen then energy flow chemical energy of food is main source of energy required by all the living organisms this energy is transmitted to different trophic levels along the food chain this energy flow is based on two different law of thermodynamics first one is first law of thermodynamics states that the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can only change from one form to another then second law of thermodynamics states that energy is transferred more and more if it uh, more and more of it is wasted then during the process of energy flow producer absorbs sunlight and uh, they prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis this energy is stored in or as organic matter and it is finally passed on to the next trophic level which is the primary consumer then primary consumer to secondary consumer so when the herbivores consumed by carnivores of first order further degradation occur finally tertiary consumer consume the carnivore again energy will be degraded so to each successive uh, trophic level only 10% of the previous trophic level will pass on will be passed on so at each trophic level the total amount of energy will be decreased producer belong to first trophic level herbivore to second and carnivore to third based on the source of nutrition uh, of or food organism occupies specific place in food chain and that is known as they are trophic level herbivores are present in the first trophic level sorry producers are present in the first trophic level then the herbivores then the carnivores or primary carnivore then secondary carnivore finally omnivores so these are their trophic levels producer occupy the first trophic level herbivores occupy the second trophic level carnivores or primary carnivore occupy the third trophic level then the secondary carnivore occupy the fourth trophic level so in this way the, they occupy their own trophic levels then what is standing crop it is defined as the biomass of living material in an ecosystem at a particular time and what is standing state 
amount of inorganic nutrient present in an ecosystem then what is 10% law 10% law or 10% law of flow of energy in an ecosystem was proposed by Raymond Lindman this law states that 10% of energy in a food chain out of the total energy is transferred from one trophic level to another the rest of the energy is utilized for other metabolic processes and some are released as heat that means suppose it is the first trophic level then second trophic level then third trophic level so from producer only 10% of the energy is transferred to the next trophic level from the total suppose 100 energy is produced in the body of the producer only 10 energy will be passed on to the next trophic level so in this way this trend is continued and finally it is called as the 10 percent law then what is food chain the transfer of food energy from producer through a series of organism from herbivore to carnivore to decomposers with repeated eating and being eaten is known as food chain it is of two types one is grazing food chain and second one is detritus food chain grazing food chain means it begins with the producer it is a normal one begins with the producer capture the which captures the solar, solar energy prepare the food by the process of photosynthesis and uh, feeds the energy to the food chain and detritus food chain which begins with the dead organic matter where the decomposers act on that dead organic matter to degrade it so it is their food chain known as detritus food chain and the main component of this food chain are bacteria and fungi then what is food web simple food chain are very rare in nature because of each organism may obtain food from more than one trophic level thus in an ecosystem various food chains are interconnected with each other food web illustrates all the possible transfer of energy and nutrient among organisms in an ecosystem where food chain traces only one pathway of food food web are very important in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem then what is ecological pyramid it is a graphical representation of different living organisms at present at different trophic levels charles elton first developed the concept of this ecological pyramid types of ecological pyramid there are three types of ecological pyramid one is pyramid of number that means how many numbers of organisms present at different trophic levels then pyramid of biomass represents how many how much the how the weight of living organisms present at different trophic level then finally the pyramid of energy which shows or represents the energy or the energy content of each trophic level so at first the energy pyramid of number so here it is a pyramid of number of grass ecosystem grassland ecosystem where the grass grasses occupies the top occupies the first trophic level or they are the producer of that grassland ecosystem then the primary consumer or herbivores uh, have slightly less number than the producer then secondary consumer are uh, more less number than the the primary consumer in this way these trends goes on decreasing so it is a upright type of pyramid of number then pyramid of number of grassland ecosystem is upright but in pond ecosystem it decreases gradually from the first trophic level to the last trophic level thus the pyramid of uh, pond ecosystem is too upright the forest ecosystem the shape of pyramid is rhomboidal like this then pyramid of biomass it is the represent the total living biomass or organic matter present at different trophic level so it, it is the pyramid of biomass of pond ecosystem where the phytoplanktons are present at the first trophic level or they are the producers but they have very less weight as compared to the these fishes or large fishes so this um, 
दिस रिप्रेजेंट दिस आर प्रेजेंट इन ए स्मॉल बॉक्स बट द स्मॉल फिशेस व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर लेबल दे हैव स्लाइटली हाई वेट देन दिस फाइट ऑफ लैंटन्स सो दिस ट्रेंड गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग फाइनली दिस पिरामिड ऑफ बायोमास इन पॉन्ड इकोसिस्टम इज इनवर्टेड इट इज नॉट अपराइट इट इज इनवर्टेड बिकॉज इट इज द बायोमास कंटिन्यूस टू डिक्रीज प्रोग्रेसिवली देन पिरामिड ऑफ एनर्जी इट इज ऑलवेज अपराइट बिकॉज इन एनी इकोसिस्टम प्रोड्यूसर्स हैव मोर एनर्जी देन द कंज्यूमर्स and this trend goes on decreasing because i have already told you that only 10% of the uh, of energy is will be transferred to the next trophic level so it is always decreasing and pyramid of energy is always upright then ecological succession what is ecological succession it is in, it uh, an important characteristic of all communities is their composition and structure is constantly being changing in response to the changing environmental condition this changes is order this change is orderly and sequential and parallel with the changes in the physical environment these changes lead finally to a community that is in near equilibrium with the environment or more stable community known as climax community this gradually and fairly predictable change in the species composition <coughs> of a given area is called ecological succession during succession some species colonize an area and their population become more numerous where population of other species decline and even disappear the entire sequence of communities that successively change in a given area are called years the individual transitional communities term thomas geral community or geral communities or geral stages ep odom according to ep odom the ecological succession is an orderly process of community change in a unit area it is the process of change in species composition in an ecosystem over time in simple terms it is the process of ecosystem development in nature then types of uh, succession primary succession the succession which occur or starts in a bare land secondary consum- secondary succession starts at a site that has already previously built up substrate with already existing living matter autogenic succession after succession has begun its vegetation itself causes its own replacement then cyclic succession it refers to repeated occurrence of certain stages of succession then allogenic succession replacement of existing community caused by the external environment then autotrophic succession it is characterized by early and continued dominance of autotrophic organism in an ecosystem mainly green plants heterotrophic succession it is characterized by early dominance of heterotrophs such as bacteria actinomycetes fungi animal etc induced succession activities such as overgrazing population scapping may cause induced succession retrogressive succession a return to simpler and less dense community is called retrogressive succession then general process of succession at first nudation then invasion uh, invasion invasion nudation means development of a bare land so it is the preparation of a ground for the upcoming community or upcoming species or up- upcoming inhabitants invasion means the successful entry of new species or uh, successful entry and establishment of new species in that bare land this invasion step includes many sub steps one is migration that means entry or movement of any species to that area then ecchesis it is the process of establishment of immigrant it is not necessary that all migrated propagules must stabilize the stabilization process depends greatly on the condition prevailing in that area 
देन एग्री एग्रीगेशन मीन्स आफ्टर ए केसेस और सक्सेसफुल एस्टाब्लीशमेंट एज ए रेजल्ट अफ रिप्रोडक्शन इंडिविजुआल अफ स्पेसीज इनक्रीज इन नंबर एंड कम क्लोजर टू इच अदर दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज एग्रीगेशन देन कंपिटिशन एंड को एक्शन आफ्टर एग्रीगेशन अफ लार्ज नंबर अफ इंडिविजुआल अफ स्पेसीज एट द लिमिटेड स्पेस दे आर डेभलप कंपिटिशन मेनली फर स्पेस एंड न्यूट्रिशन देन रिएक्शन इट इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टाट स्टेज द मेकानिजम अफ मोडिफिकेसन अफ एनभारमेंट थ्रू इनफ्लुएंस अफ लिविंग अर्गानिजम इट अन् इट इज नोन एज रिएक्शन एज ए रेजल्ट अफ रिएक्शन चेंजेस टेक्स प्लेस इन द सएल व्टर लाइट कंडीशन टेम्परेचर अफ द एनभारमेंट ड्यू टू अल दिस एनभारमेंट इज मोडिफाइड बिकमिंग अनसुटेड फर एक्जिस्ट कम्युनिटी एंड ह्विच सुनर एंड लैटर रिप्लेस बै अनदर कम्युनिटी एंड फाइनाली द स्टाबिलइेसन और इट इज द स्टेबल कम्युनिटी और आपियरेन्स अफ स्टेबल कम्युनिटी एंड दिस स्टेप इज नोन एज द क्लैमैक्स स्टेज और क्लैमैक्स कम्युनिटी एंड दिज आर द स्टेप्स भेरियस स्टेप्स अफ ए आईडिया अफ एन आईडियाल सक्से इकोलोजिकाल सक्सेसन देन द फाइनाल वन हुई इज बायोजिओकेमिकाल सैकेल्स और न्यूट्रिए सैक्लींग बायोजिओकेमिकाल सैकेल्स रिफर टू द फ्लो अफ केमिकाल एलिमेंट एंड कंपाउंड विटवीन अर्गानिजम एंड दे आर फिजिकाल एनभारमेंट आज एलिमेंट मुवस थ्रु दिस सैकेल इट अफन फर्म्स कंपाउंड विथ अदर एलिमेंट एज ए रेजल्ट अफ मेटाबलिक प्रोसेस इन लिविंग टीस्यू एंड अदर न्याचुराल रिएक्शन इन आटमोसफिर हाइड्रोस्फिर और लिथोस्फिर सच सैक्लिक एक्सचेज अफ मेटेरियाल विटवीन लिविंग अर्गानिजम एंड दे आर नन लिविंग एनभारमेंट इज कल्ड बायोजिओकेमिकाल सैकेल न्यूट्रिए सैकेल और बायोजिओकेमिकाल सैकेल आर अफ टू टाइप्स वन इज गैसीयस सैकेल वन इज सेडिमेटरी सैकेल फास्ट वन इज गैसीयस सैकेल अंडर द गैसीयस सैकेल इन युअर बुक ओनली कार्बन सैकेल इज प्रेजेंट सो हियर वी विल डिस्कस ओनली दैट कार्बन इज प्रेजेंट इन द एटमोसफियर एबजर्व बै द प्लांट फर फोटोसिन्थेसीस् बिकज इट इज ए र मेटेरियाल अफ फोटोसिन्थेसीस् प्लांट्स अफन दिज प्लांट्स वेन कंज्यूम बै द एनिमल और कंज्यूमर्स कार्बन गेट्स बायो आकुमुलेटेड इन टू दे आर बडिज दिज एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स इवेन्चुअली डाय अपन डिकम्पोजिंग कार्बन इज रिलीज बैक् टू द आटमोसफिर सम अफ द कार्बन दैट इज नट रिलीज बैक् टू आटमोसफिर इवेन्चुअली बिकम फसिल फुएल्स दिज फसिल फुएल्स आर देन यूज फर मैन मेड एक्टिविटीज हुई पम्प मोर कार्बन बैक् टू द आटमोसफिर सो इट इज द ओभरअल कार्बन सैकेल कार्बन डाइअक्साइड कंज्यूम बै द प्लांट्स बै द प्रोसेस अफ फोटोसिन्थेसीस् देन कंज्यूम बै द एनिमल एंड अदर एनिमल्स then they respire and breathe out the carbon dioxide to, into the atmosphere and in the process of burning of uh, fossil fuel then um, the vehicle emission combustion in industries volcanic eruption this carbon dioxide also enter into the environment and uh, some of the carbon dioxide also dissolve in oxygen so in this way they circulate in the environment between the biotic and abiotic communities then sedimentary cycle in your book only phosphorus cycle is there so we will discuss only that the it is the natural reservoir of phosphorus is rock which contains phosphorus in the form of phosphate so the natural reservoir or phosphorus is present in the rock in the form of phosphate on withering process minute amount of phosphate dissolve in soil solution and absorbed by the roots of the plant waste product of dead organism are decomposed by bacteria and release phosphorus to the soil that means the environment gaseous exchange between organism and environment is negligible as compared to carbon so it is the phosphorus cycle uh, from the rock material upon weathering Uh, this phosphate add in the soil from soil the producer or plant uptake this phosphorus or phosphate then from producer it will be passed on to the consumer then from consumer to detritus which finally uh, decompose this organic matter and mix the phosphate in the soil again 
then from producer during the litter fall uh, also these detritus act on that litter and finally decompose and add the phosphate back into the soil so it is uh, then from the soil through runoff this phosphate also add in aquatic ecosystem and marine ecosystem also so this is overall phosphorus cycle so in this video i will uh, i have already discussed about your the whole chapter of ecosystem i hope you really enjoyed this session in my next video i will discuss some another topic uh, of your ncert biology book 12th class ncert biology book and uh, which will be helpful for your uh, upcoming board exam so stay tuned and enjoy my videos like this and please like my videos share with other students friends and teachers and please subscribe to my channel sunanda's tutorial thank you